Perfect CTL uh, apparently was a type of cryptocurrency mining malware that took extreme measures to hide on Linux servers and workstations for at least three years. Levels of evasion it went through were pretty interesting. So when I was looking through the various stories this week, this one kind of piqued my interest because of the ways that this would just desperately attempt to mine for precious cryptocurrency in the background while users were away. But then it would stop doing that. It would start behaving itself as soon as the logger, as the, the logger, as soon as the user logged in. So uh, it would have extremely high CPU usage anytime it felt like it wouldn't be detected. It established all sorts of persistence to make sure if it was cleaned, then it could uh, come back and uh, attack again. And it leveraged a number of vulnerabilities uh, or just exposed credentials in order to take over servers and then inject itself into them. So somebody was earning passive income off of this for a considerable amount of time. And it was uh, able to be spread by compromised credentials, uh, misconfigured servers, uh, misconfigured logins, and then a couple kind of like unknown infections. And by a couple, I mean 4,647. So you can kind of see the infection paths here, giving you a little bit of a clue of how this was started. But uh, what this would do is just kind of run in the background, um, communicate with the attacker server via a Tor relay, and then do all these like seeding tasks in the system, kind of like hiding itself in various places in order to spring back into operation if it was partially deleted. Um, so the evasion mechanisms were pretty advanced here for someone who's just trying to mine some Monero. But the fact that, uh, I mean, this is the type of program that would be loaded via like Luma Stealer, for example, uh, onto a system that's compromised. Um, once you have a program like this that just makes money if it infects a system and is very difficult to destroy, you can actually pay distributors of uh, Luma Stealer uh, and other sorts of loader software to load this on a percentage of their infected PCs or, or Linux servers, allowing you to establish a base of servers that are just constantly mining for uh, Monero in this case. So kind of an interesting cybercrime story on this one. Uh, uh, not super remarkable, but just a lot of evasion techniques at work here.